the crike. This is not a skill we do that often, but we need to be 100% on our game. So let's put two minutes on the clock and we'll talk about how you can easily improve your practice. I don't have a 3D printer, but I do have a lot of junk. There's some pretty cool crike trainers out there, but here's a quick tip on how to make one out of your leftovers. You can be pretty sure that your heart rate will be elevated if it comes to needing to do this procedure. Remember that above 115 beats a minute, we begin to lose fine motor skills. Look at that. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. So get your tools ready that you're going to need. Scalpel, finger, bougie, also a 5.5 to 60 ET tube with a syringe and a BVM. You can cut the ET tube down if you want. Just remember, don't cut past the balloon inflation tube. With your dominant hand, place your pinky in the sternal notch. Everybody should have one and it's an easy landmark to find. Brace your hand against the patient's chest. The first structure up that you'll feel is the cricoid cartilage. Above that is a shield-shaped structure, which is the thyroid cartilage. Between these is our spot, the cricothyroid membrane. Stabilize the trachea. Make your vertical incision, making sure that you stay midline. Remember, there will be blood. Embrace it. Now, make your horizontal cut into the cricothyroid membrane, large enough to place your finger in, which you'll do immediately after removing your scalpel. Then slide your bougie in until you achieve holdup. Be careful of your angle. Insert your ET tube, inflate, and ventilate. 